Okay, good day students. So please all stand for a prayer. I will call Mr. Paolo to lead a prayer. Okay, Mr. Paolo, please go in front. Okay. Thank you for that wonderful prayer, Mr. Paolo. So now, I will check the attendance first before we proceed to our topic, okay? So, Jindel Baguio, present. Melvin Didomo, absent. So, April Baguio, present. Paolo, present. Andrea Nunes, present. Kirsty Castillos, present. Okay. So, Angie, okay, present. Andrew present, Maki present. Okay, I think you have only one absent for today. Okay, so before we go proceed to our topic, um, we will have first a recap for our previous discussion. So, anyone from the class wants to volunteer? Okay, Miss April. Okay, go ahead. Okay, very good. I think Miss April uh, listened well in our previous discussion. So we talked about the different wires splicing in our previous discussion. And now we will jump off to another lesson. Okay? So first I will um, show to you our learning objectives or what will be expected to have for this lesson. So first, identify the appropriate use of tools and equipments of electrical installation and maintenance. Next is classify the different electrical installation tools according to their uses. So number three, state the importance of using electrical installation and maintenance tools. Okay. So I will be showing you a picture of different tools and equipment. Okay. So here are the two, uh, tools and equipment. So okay, students, are these tools? Um, any equipment is familiar to you? Anyone from the class? Okay, Paolo. Yes, you are correct. Very good. Okay. So these tools are um, for electrical and electrical installation and maintenance. So I think Paolo have a wider knowledge of these tools. Okay. So can you name one of the tools and explain it? What is the purpose of that? Okay. Uh, I will call Okay, Jidel Baguio Okay, very good Okay, Jidel, you are, you are right So so now For today's activity I will group you into four Okay, so um, Start counting One, two, three, four One, two, three, four One, two, three, four, and one, two, three. Okay, for the group one, stay there on the first row. Um, group two here, the group three here, and the group four there, okay? So now, each group, I will be giving you a ha handouts containing the different tools and equipments, okay? For electrical installation and maintenance. So, um, here are the handouts that I will be given. Okay, receive your handouts for the group 4, for the group 3, okay, group 2, and group 1. Okay, group 2. Thank you, you receive your handouts already. So now, I will be giving you 5 minutes to study the handouts, okay? 5 minutes starts now. Okay, time is up to this. So your task this morning is to identify the different tools and equipment and we will call this activity Can You Guess Me? Okay? Hulaan mo ako, sino ako, okay? So I will be showing you the picture of the tools and equipment then you are going to guess the correct name of the tool by answering it on the cardboard or writing it on the cardboard, okay? One point every correct answer. So, okay, are you ready students? Are you ready? Okay, so prepare your cardboard. I have a cardboard to prepare earlier. So, okay. So, I will show you the first picture. So, um, here, I think the number one. Can you guess me? Okay, picture number one. 
In three, two, one, start answering. Okay. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, stop answering. Okay, raise your cardboards. Okay, the group one got the correct answer. The group two got the correct answer. The group three got the correct answer. And the group four got the correct answer. Okay, all groups got the correct answer. So very good. So and now we will proceed to the next picture. Okay, three, two, one, start answering. Okay, so ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time is up. Okay, students, raise your cardboards. Okay, so the group one got the correct answer. The group two, the group three. And the group 4, okay, very good fight, huh? Grabe, nagdikan talaga kayo. Okay, you got the correct answer. So, we'll proceed to the next picture. Okay, picture number 3. In 3, 2, 1, start answering. Okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, stop answering. Raise your card, boards. Okay, group number one. Oh, you are wrong. Okay, group two. You are wrong. Group three got the correct answer, and the group four. Okay, very good. There are only two groups got the correct answer, so bow it. Bow is the next. Okay, picture number four. And three, two, one, answer. Okay, ten, nine, eight, seven. Okay, raise your cardboards. Stop answering. Okay, group one got the correct answer. Group two, group three, group four got the correct answer. So next picture. Okay, start answering. Okay, I think you all got the correct answer. Okay, number six. Three, two, one. Start answering. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Stop answering. Raise your card boards. Okay, group number one got the correct answer. Group number two wrong. Three and four got the correct answer. Okay, number seven. Okay, it's very easy. But things are not good. Okay, in three, two, one. Answer. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Don't stop answering. Raise your card board. Okay, the group one. Group 2, group 3, and group 4 got the correct answer. So, simple kayo. Okay? <clears throat> okay, press uh, picture number 8. So, in 3, 2, 1, start answering. Okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, stop answering. Okay, raise your cardboard, students. Raise your cardboards. Okay? Okay, group number one got the correct answer. Group number two, three, and four. Okay, I think you're very enough knowledge for this in your study well. Okay, number nine. Okay, three, two, one, answer. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Raise your card boards. Okay, group one got the correct answer. Group two, group three, and group four. Last number. In 3, 2, 1, answer. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 2 and a half, 2 and 4, and 1. Okay, raise your cardboard, stop answering. Okay, I think. Okay, group 1, group 2, group 3, and group 4 got the correct answer. So now let's review our scores. Okay, so thank you for. Um, Participate, participate in our first activity students. Very good. So let us now review your scores. Okay. The group 1 got 7 points. The group 2 got 9 points. Group 3 got 8 points. And the group 4 got wow, perfect score. Grabe. Grabe ang group 4. So perfect score. So let's give.
give a, a one more plus for everybody. Okay, so after answering, here are the answer, answers of all um, the pictures. Okay, the Phillips screwdriver, mallet, hammer, combination pliers, electrician knife, portable electric drill, soldering iron, push and pull rule, milliampere, stubby screwdriver, and iron wrench. So after this, I will discuss to you what are their uses of these tools and equipments. Okay, so first is um, the Phillips screwdriver. So this is a cross tip resembling a positive sign. This is used to drive screws with cross slot heads. So this Phillips screwdriver here, it has a um, cross tip. So usay nga tawo ni sa tungo papa na asam wana uh, screwdriver, alibaba diretso lang. So the correct term for that is. Phillips screwdriver. So next, Allen screwdriver wrench, and this could be the shape of screwdriver or wrench. Its function is to drive screw with hexagonal slot head. Okay, so sa tuwa ng mga papa, mahalung tao sa Allen nun na asang Allen ring. Okay, kung ano sa Allen ring ba? Hindi ka pa usong Allen ring. Okay, so dili sa Allen Allen ring ha. Allen screwdriver or Allen wrench. Okay. Okay, nakuha rin nyo? So, wala yung punta na? Okay, so now, next. Stubby screwdriver. This comes in either standard or Phillips screwdriver with a short shank or blade and a shortened handle used to turn screws in tight spaces where a standard screwdriver cannot use. So, ngano kailangan kong yung stubby screwdriver? Now, we have the standard screwdriver man, okay? So this screwdriver, stubby screwdriver, used to drive screws in tight spaces. So there are some parts of um, electrical task that um, it has a uh, tight spaces. Okay. So we will use this stubby screwdriver. Okay. Yes. So next, mallet rubber head or the head of, on a rubber mallet is made up of rubber. These types of hammers. Um, del deliver softer impact, okay? So then they have a metal heads, okay? So they are essential if your work needs to be free impact marks, okay? So uh, for the standard hammer, we have this metal head, but this mallet hammer used in electric, um, electrical maintenance or electrical installation, it is used to put some nails to, uh, to hold the wire, okay? So, if you will hit this pallet hammer, it will not give a big impact to the surface of the workplace, okay? So, it will not damage. So, it is very useful to the electricians. So, next, um, isa po isa pinaka-easy, isa sa pinaka-common na makita, which is the combination pliers or diamond pliers. So, this is used for gripping. Holding and cutting electrical electrical wires and cables and even small nails. So they are usually used by linemen in doing heavy tasks. So, para sa tuwa ganin mga papa, ginain ng tao sa ay na kana na as a flies, as a flies na kaya kung gamiton. So, so may flies pa. So kita nga naanad na. So, makuha na naman siya combination pliers na mawag din siya. Pero ang tinuod, ang tawag na is combination pliers. So this is used for holding, gripping, and also cutting wires. So kaya nanti na nasa na yung black sa yung gilid, is mo na siya um, gamit pump cutting. Okay? So next picture. Electrician's knife. So nga nung na may gitawag ng electrician's knife, nga pwede lang na itong knife na ordinary. Diba? Ano kailangan ko ng electrician's knife? So, this electrician's knife, this is used by light and to remove insulation of wire and cables and low and high voltage transmission lines. So, lahat ko ng katong tapok na knife ang atong gamito now sa pag kaning buha ko um, to remove insulation sa wire. Itong dapok kayo ng anong katas ka. Di mo i-panit. So, they have this electrician's knife para mas dali o mas gamay siya Dali na siya mga dala-dala, okay? 
sa mga lineman. Okay? So next picture is portable electric drill. So, yung tawag ko sa Bisaya na Barina. Okay? So, a portable electric drill is a small drilling machine with a chuck capacity of 1 4 to 3, 3 8 inch. It is used in making holes in metal sheets and concrete walls. Okay? So, if gamit ko ni siya, if ever na yung mga kailangan bahagan niya para masunod ang wire, so, this portable electric drill has a lot of uses. Okay? It will use for um, digging holes in order to put the wire on the um, workplace or surface, okay? So, like woods or metals, okay, concrete walls. So, next, soldering iron, okay? This soldering iron is used to solder to connecting wires. So, kung sabi sa iyo pa, ang sulda, okay? So, ang sulda na siya, soldering iron. So, this is used to solder connecting wires. Para makulit sa mga wire-wire na binagmay, ina. The next is push and pull roll. Practic simply na yun. Maning correct mo talang giling na. Okay? So, push and pull roll used to measure the length of an object in centimeter and in chest. So, this is also used to measure heights for switches and outlets. So, um, this, this push and pull roll, daw ba siya kabang para ma-measure ko kung kung saan katas ayaw ang uh, inuhang wire dika sa switch until here's outlet, okay? So, very common, pang sukod, dun, ang gamit niya. So, last is the milliameter. Kung sa may milliameter, okay? It is an important instrument used for measuring small amount of electric currents calibrated in milliampers. So, DC with plus, power supply, charger, and battery. So, ginatest niya kung nabay the flow sa uh, battery or sa power supply na kuryente, okay? So, I think you listened well. So, uh, we will proceed to our next activity. So, since you know the different uh, tools and equipment, let us now proceed to this activity, which is, I'll be giving you handouts again um, about the various classification of tools and equipment. Okay? So each group will make a schematic diagram that classify the different tools and equipment. So here are the handouts. Okay? Here are the handouts for you. Group 2, group 1. Okay, pass. Group 3. Okay, so I think you already received your handouts. So you have 10 minutes to study the handouts. Okay? So your timer starts now. Okay. Okay, students, time is up. Okay, present your output. Then group one, present your output first. Then followed by the group two, three, and four. Okay. So your schematic diagram. So I will be showing you my schematic diagram. Okay. Uh, wait. I will be showing you my schematic diagram. Here it is. This is my schematic diagram. Okay? I will compare your schematic diagram to my schematic diagram. Okay? For the, uh, for the group 1, my driving tools in my schematic diagram, it's Phillips screwdrivers, iron wrench, stabbing screwdriver. For the soldering tools, soldering iron. Measuring tools is the push and pull rule. Okay? The striking tools is the mallet hammer. And the boring tools is portable electric drill. Cutting tools is combination pliers and electrician's knife. So, for the equipment, that's the milliameter. Okay? So, I think all the groups got the correct answer. So, you classified well. Okay? So, after that, after our discussion, this schematic diagram and all, I will be giving you a question. So, what is the importance of using electrical installation tools and equipment in doing electrical tasks? So, what is the importance of electrical tools? 
sa electrical installation ng Newton School. So, may importansya niya. So, anyone from the class who wants to volunteer? Okay, wants to volunteer? Raise your hand. Okay, Jidel Bagyo. Okay, very good. Tama dito siya, no? Na mapadali ang atong trabaho sa ato ang um, tungod na yung mga electrical tools and equipments. Okay? So, it, it will give us an easy and fast and also safe. Dili, take me din na ito ha. Ha, kasi kung saan ito ang mutang, may pangkulintihan, di ba? So, kailangan gamit yung tag mga tools and equipments to have safe, safety work or safe work. Okay? So, next, I will give you this checklist um, for in order to determine if you have knowledge in using those tools and equipment. So, if you are capable, this is the checklist. I will be giving a checklist later. So, this is the checklist. If you are capable in using those tools, please check the uh, yes if you are capable. And no for uh, if you are not capable. Okay? So, I think Okay, so I will give you a checklist. I will give you a checklist here. Okay, receive your checklist. Your checklist. Okay. Okay, so start checking your checklist. Okay. okay. Please check your checklist. Okay, that's okay, that's enough. Okay. Please submit your checklist here. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so after that, I uh, will be calling somebody to sum up our lesson for this morning, okay? Uh, Miss April, please sum up our lesson for this morning. Okay, very good. So, I think uh, Miss April listened well on our discussion. So, I think all of you listened well, okay? So, um, for you students, or as a student, okay? As a student, how these tools and equipment helps you in your um, electrical task? Kung saan may natabang ang electrical, kung saan may natabang ang mga tools sa inyong electrical task, okay? Okay, any volunteer? Yes, Kirsty? Okay, very good, okay? It gives us safety, easy and fast, same as the first question. Okay? Kaya kung dilit na mo gamit o mga tools, kung saan may gamit ko na ito? Makinamot. Diba? Dibre? Okay? So, dapat kayo ba ang tools to make our task easier and faster? And also, safer. Okay? So, for your assessment, or get one half sheet of paper and answer the following questions. Okay? So, from 1 to 10, what are the different tools and equipment of electrical installation and maintenance? So, 11 to 17, what are the seven classifications of electrical tools and equipment? Then, 18 to 20, what is the significance of electrical tools and equipment in our daily lives? Okay? So, start answering. But for your assignment, I will be giving you an assignment. Pass this on next day, okay? On Friday, okay? So, in a one whole sheet of paper, search other electrical tools and equipment with their uses, okay? So, that's your assignment for, for the next um, meeting, okay? So, I think you are finished answering. So, pass your paper. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you, students. Thank you for your participation. So, please stand up and goodbye, students. Okay, thank you. See you on the next week.